Good morning, this is your DNA Info update for Tuesday, December 15th. It's in the mid-40s now with a little fog and drizzle this morning, mostly cloudy later on with a high near 52 degrees. In your headlines, the West Side Rail Yards development cleared a critical hurdle at a city council meeting yesterday. Despite an increase in affordable housing units, neighborhood advocates complain the project still creates an exclusive neighborhood for the rich. A group of Broadway workers may ring in the new year by going on strike. The Daily News reports about 150 theater service workers who work in theaters playing hits like Wicked and In the Heights are in negotiations for a raise and no health insurance cuts. If they don't reach an agreement, they could strike after their contract expires on December 31st. A suspected serial burglar was caught yesterday. Police say the man hit 22 businesses across Manhattan in less than a month. The NYPD says they nabbed the suspect as he tried to smash in the window of yet another target. And I hope you haven't eaten breakfast yet and don't plan to. The New York City Health Department has released a new video. It shows a man drinking a glass of fat. The stomach-turning ad is the DOH's latest attempt to fight obesity by discouraging sugary drinks and sodas. If you can handle it, we've got the ad on our site. Those are your headlines. Get all your Manhattan local news at dnainfo.com.